What's going on? Welcome back to Trading Stocks. Today is August the 26th. Happy Monday, everyone. I want to give you a quick pre-market update and go over things that you need to know. But first, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. Starting off with data points, not a lot today. So like I've kind of mentioned already in uh, previous videos, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are going to be more technical driven as well as kind of external factors such as NVIDIA earnings. So a lot of that is going to come into play. Right now, you do see the futures somewhat mixed. So NASDAQ down slightly, S&P up slightly. So we'll just have to wait and see what does happen. But for the most part, there has been some pretty substantial dips uh, time and time again ever since it did open uh, late last night. Fear and greed index is under the neutral category. Most likely this week, dependent on data, GDP, PCE might push it to the greed category. But regardless, people's appetite for risk is increasing. And so you do see more, I guess, unexplained pops up in stock prices uh, on various different stocks. Nothing really uh, for today that I'm going to be talking on. Everything kind of is justified to some regard. So uh, again, stay tuned. SoFi is piggybacking off of the broader market, currently up 0.93%. There is no actual news from the company itself. As you can kind of see, just the technicals are very much in favor of a little bit more upside with SoFi. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. It's uh, it'll be interesting to see what shorts are going to do. Most likely Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday they're going to return a little bit. Later part of the week, depending on data, again they might increase return. We'll just have to wait and see. But 17.07% of the free flow is being shorted. No matter what, though, right now with it at 7.59, just watch for this support to hold of seven dollars and forty six cents. Aside from that, the next strong resistance is ultimately around that uh, eight dollar range. So seven dollars and 98 cents so a lot of volatility but again so if i could definitely run up with uh, a lot of the market just depending on technicals the beginning part of the week so stay tuned for that moving on pdd is getting slaughtered this morning because of their earnings down 16.83 percent it's not heavily shorted so 3.93 percent of the free floats being shorted shorts clearly did not anticipate this negative data uh, from the company itself because they've been returning for the last uh, month for the most part So yeah, they were not anticipating this whatsoever right now though with it at 114 and change it is trading between this s3 and this s2 So 110 is gonna be the strong support that you'll want to watch for it to hold 118 will be that next strong resistance. So it's kind of level ground right now in my opinion I do feel that there will be one final kind of substantial dip once the market does open, then it might push back towards this uh, S2. But again, it could kind of really push down a little bit more. I looked at the key metrics. Uh, I didn't actually listen to the conference call itself. So maybe during the conference call, there might be some stuff to really push it down to this S3. So do your guys' own due diligence. But no matter what, take note of that support and resistance points. Alibaba, that one was an interesting one. So they kind of put out a lot of good news. So they had their earnings. They did announce recently that both their Chinese and American uh, listings are going to be primary, which is huge. But you do see it selling off. So with that news on Friday, it only cost it to go up 2.95%. This morning, just, I guess, a lot of growth concerns is starting to surge across the board. So that's why it's down slightly, 3.61%. It's not heavily shorted, so 2.73% of the free floats being shorted works out to be 52.41 million shares. Shorts haven't really been doing all that much with this company, as you can kind of see. So for the like good month and a half, it's been roughly at uh, 2.83 until recently. That's where it's starting to return a little bit. Right now, though, with it at 82 and change, it is trading between this uh, two points right here, so the R1 and R2. So 82.86 will be that next strong resistance slash target, which most likely, given the price point it is at now, it might flirt with this throughout the day. Flip side, $80.73 will be the strong support. Again, just kind of take note of that because there's not really going to be much moving today. PayPal is piggybacking off of the broader market. It has been on a very nice run. So it is up 18.49% over this last one month, up 4.12 over the last five days. 
2120 over this last six months no actual news associated to paypal today so again it's kind of just piggybacking off the broader market not heavily shorted so 2.09 percent of the free floats being shorted so not really much to talk on for that shorts have kind of just been waiting uh, they've been actually increasing so maybe they're feeling that this recent run isn't justified so kind of stay tuned for that but Right now with it at 71.91, it is trading between these two points, so R2 and R3, so 69.44 will be the strong support, 73.27 will be that next strong resistance slash target. And this is why you've seen, like because of these wide gaps, PayPal be very volatile. So in one day, it's gone from 73 down to kind of touching the high 70s in one day, and that's been... Uh, happening quite a lot in fact so just anticipate a continuation of a lot of volatility so let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below and nvidia even though they haven't really put out any news today they are kind of going up down sideways it looks like it's all over the place but a lot of money is getting in because of their upcoming earnings so some people are hesitant about that but you can kind of see some expectations so it is coming out on the 28th pre-market this is where, again, you get some hesitation. Um, over the last 90 days, there has been 19 positive revisions done by analysts, 12 negative. So you have, it. I don't know, some people are saying that NVIDIA is a bubble. Some people are saying that it's going to be the next big, big thing uh, that's going to control the market. So we'll just have to wait and see. You do see earnings per share, 64 cents at the estimate, and $28.71 billion for revenue. And both of those are roughly... Um, looks like 41 analysts for the earnings per share and then 43 for the revenue. So that's kind of what is made up for that. It's not heavily shorted. Uh, so 1.22% of the free floats being shorted works out to be 287.99 million shares. It is crazy to think though that $37.26 billion is uh, in NVIDIA right now through shorts. So like there's more shorting than just companies market cap in general so kind of crazy stuff if you think about it but right now with it at 129 and change it is trading between this pivot and this r1 so kind of level ground between the two so 118 will be a strong support 131 will be that next strong resistance slash target so let me know your thoughts on these stocks do you own them is there any other stocks that you are watching today and that uh, might go up down sideways let me know don't forget to hit that thumbs up and one final thing a couple days left to take advantage of this it's been extended up until the end of august simply sign up for a new account throw 100 dollars at it they give you five free stocks each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars so this is a kick-ass deal link in the description below and also the comment with all that said appreciate all of you watching